Today we'll make a pretty Victorian bouquet. Keep watching. All right, we're gonna start off with some beads that came from Dollar Tree, little pearl beads. We're gonna take some, this is my thrifted ribbon. It's like a lace ribbon that I got from Goodwill. It curves, which makes it a lot easier. And then I'm gonna take some of this tissue paper that I got at the thrift store and a piece of cardstock paper. I'm gonna start folding this over. The idea is to get the shape of a, it's called a tussy mussy. Um, it's like a Victorian bouquet, only they had it in like a, um, a metal holder. We're gonna use paper to do ours, but it's the same idea. So it's a shabby chic Victorian thing. So you're going to start off by making a cone with your paper. Then I'm just using some uh, scotch tape to hold this together. You're not going to see it. It's going to be underneath. So just whatever kind of tape you have will probably work there. Then I'm going to trim the edge of one side to make sure that my cone is even. I'm going to leave the back high. And then I'm going to start wrapping it with my tissue paper. I have no idea where this paper originally came from. It's, it's really pretty. It's got some Easter and Valentine's and just the entire springy love look, I think. So I'm going to roll until we get to the edge of our cone up there. I'm just using a pen to mark where to cut. Then I cut that off. I don't want to double up on the paper because I, I want to be able to see my pictures. If you double up, it's going to look kind of dark. So it stands out pretty nicely, the sheerness against this white paper. Then I'm just going to kind of tuck and fold and tape around the cone. But you got to be very careful with this tissue because it will tear. Um, you know, tissue paper will tear. Use whatever kind you can find, whatever kind you like. You could use a solid color. You can use polka dots or florals or um, anything that you like that you can find. And you could probably use some type of wrapping paper if you wanted. This is some double stick tape that I'm using to just gently hold these together while I'm working around this cone to make my shape. And I've, I've never done this before, so this is kind of a, a learning experience for me. So you probably see me wrapping and rewrapping a few times. But the end result is, I think, nice. And um, so you just keep working with yours until you get it the way you want it to be. I'm just trying to try to curl that and then press that down on the inside of the cone. That's going to help hold the flowers once we get those in there. Now our cone is pretty much complete with paper and I'm going to use some of this glue stick to now finish the edges and make sure that there's no peeling on this cone. You could probably Mod Podge if that's something that interests you that you want to do, but I didn't feel like it was necessary for this project for me personally. I'm going to take a little bit of this tape and reinforce the tip of this cone so that it does not tell tear. So that's all I'm doing, just wrapping around there to make sure that it doesn't come off while I'm moving things around. Now we're going to make the collar for this or the trim and see how it curves so it's gonna very nicely lay on here. You could probably curve a regular ribbon around there if you wanted to, kind of pleating it or bunching it up or ruching it. But this was this was great. And this feels like um like a cotton fabric. It's pretty old. It was in a bag with some more 
uh, as some vintage sewing supplies when I found it, but this is the part that really interested me. I love these colors too, this peach and cream. It's really pretty together. So I'm just doubling this up and using a little bit of hot glue and protecting my fingers to make this little collar. I don't know the actual word for it. That's why I'm calling it a collar because it, it actually does look like a collar. Okay, and now it's gonna go all the way around this top edge. And it's a little bit long, but that's okay because I'm gonna trim that up in the end. So I will start in the back at the seam. This is the part that's not gonna be seen. I'm gonna start adding a little bit of glue and placing down my, my lace. I'm gonna follow this all the way around. Careful not to tear your paper. I don't think I can stress enough how fragile tissue paper is. You really have to be gentle with it. So keep going. Are you a fan of Shabby Chic? Do you like the Victorian or vintage look? And I guess when I say vintage, I mean way vintage. Late 1800s, early 1900s. It's a lot of charm, I think, in the, the pieces and in the decorations that go way back. Very romantic. Okay, so I'm going to trim off what I have left here. Make sure everything lays nice and flat so when we put the hanger on, we have no problems. Now I'm going to show you here how to make the florets or the roses that I'm going to use inside. I'm also going to use some flowers that came um, from Dollar Tree and that are thrifted. But these are going to be my focal point these two flowers that I make. So I'm cutting eight inch pieces of this curved lace. I'm going to cut some oval shapes out of some scrap paper. And that's what I'm gonna use as the base to set these florets or flowers on. I'm gonna start off with a generous amount of glue there and then twist in a circular pattern and pleat it as I'm going. So you just fold a little bit over and tack it down. Fold a little bit over and then tack it down. Keep moving in a circular pattern all the way around. And it's gonna give you this little pretty cup shape, which is like a flower. Now we're gonna start with the center of the flower. Same thing, start in the center, place your edge down and then we're just gonna to continue to add a dot of glue, turn, gather a little section, and then press it down. Protect your fingers because it's, you're, you can't see really what you're doing here. It's more of a, you're kind of feeling toward the center of the flower when you do it. Then you keep turning, and you get the idea of this process intersection is going to be a little bit of a tighter shape and it's going to be a thicker one because you're using the same length but you're using a smaller amount of space if that makes sense. So be sure that you place your, you go all the way around with that glue and make sure that your ends are placed down. Now you can use a button in the center, It'd be very pretty or you can use beads and I've used these Dollar Tree beads on lots of projects and I am going to use those as the center for these flowers. Isn't that cute? So that's going to be my larger flower. Now if you want your flower to be tighter and smaller this is what you would do. You're going to do the same thing but you're going to make a lot more gathers and a lot more tacking with the glue all the way around. You can see this one's a little tighter, like a flower that's not completely opened yet. A 
then do your inner layer. Same as before. You getting the idea? And then we're going to give this one a center as well. So you see the two different sizes? I'm going to take this floral stem that I used the flowers from another project. And I'm going to use those as the stem for this project. Simple, simple. Put those where you want them. Then we're going to use a piece of that cardstock I had left, a little scrap paper, and put that over the top to hold it in place and make it look a little prettier. And there you have it. Give those a second to set up and then choose your flowers that you want to use. I'm going to use this. It's a, I don't know what it came off of, but it's a, a pick or a stem or a, a dowel of some sort. I'm going to use floral wire to lift up these roses so that they are higher up and they don't sink down into the bottom. So I'm wrapping it and then I'm going to take some of my tape, my floral tape. You know it's waxed. You give it a little bit of pressure and then it releases the stickiness and you just twist all the way around. That's going to cover up my wire so it doesn't tear any of my tissue and it gives it a prettier look. See, it fits right down in there without going through the tip, which we secured. Here are my handmade flowers, and then I'm going to add one more flower in the side. I think the cream and the peach are really pretty. We're going to make the backing now. I'm going to use this cotton twine. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on the end and twist it to give me a point so that I can feed it easily through these beads. You can count by looking in the little bowl to see how many beads that I used as we go along here. This piece could be hung on the wall, it could be hung on a doorknob, it could be hung um, on a door, you know, as a spring decor piece. You could give it as a gift. I think it would be beautiful for grandmothers or for Mother's Day to give something like this. Okay, so there is my my beads, and I'm just going to make a double knot because one knot will not um, will not hold it. The bead will slip back through. See, so you're going to double knot it. Put that knot right on top of the other knot. That's going to give you some uh, thickness so that the bead won't slide back off. So there you go, nice and secure. And we're going to do the same thing with the other end. Now it is secure. You can, if you make it big enough, you can hang it from side to side, or you can put your carrier or your um, your hanger rather in the back. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of straddle it over the point of that cone, put some glue down, and then use another little scrap of paper to hold it in place. I'm going to put my little clamps here from the Crafter Square in Dollar Tree. Put those on there they work great to hold things in place until they're nice and dry and secure and i definitely don't want this breaking trim off your edges and then i'm going to add a couple of pieces of this fern as my greenery there will be a longer piece in the back and then this one i'm going to trim up just a little bit just for a little variation on the height and I'm going to add it more toward the center. So here you have it. You can go ahead and add buttons to your cone if you would like. You can add more lace. You can do whatever you like to um, to add to this if you like. I like right now that it is just simple. Um, I think it's just a really pretty piece and I've not done anything like this before but I would totally do more if there's interest so comment below and let me know do you like this do you like this type of decor um, would you like to see more
As usual, I want to say thank you to everybody who stopped by, to all my subscribers, and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye.